Hello everybody, Ray Garrett here, and I want to take a few minutes to discuss the mobile applications with you. And just like the website, when we talk about the mobile applications, we are going to talk about both the agent-facing applications and the client-facing application. Now, to get the mobile zap on my phone, and you are seeing here on the screen, you're seeing an example of my uh, cell phone. I'm mirroring it on the screen for you. So to get that on the screen, it's just like any other app. You are going to just go to your Apple, your App Store. I have Apple phones, so I'll go to the Apple Store. If you have a Google or Android phone, you're going to go to Google Play and so forth and so on. But we're going to go ahead and look inside here just to go, just to show you how to get this app. So I'm just going to uh, look up Zap here, and when I go find Zap, it's usually the first or second one that is there so there you go there's the zap real estate that's the logo that you're looking for there now I've already downloaded but if you have not uh, you want to do zap real estate CRM and that's the one that you want to get now once they log into this they'll log in with the same username and password they used to log into their regular zap and then they will have the mobile app and the best thing of all is it's synced with the desktop application so whatever you do in one will be done in the other so that's how you get the app. Now, one really cool thing about the Zap app, which I will uh, open up for you right now, is uh, I'm just going to go into the dashboard here. Your dashboard looks very much like uh, your your desktop dashboard. It's just a little, uh, I guess, intensified. So you have your notifications here first. These are the requests for information that I have. And on the site, you know, the requests for information are typically up here under the little bell thing. Uh, and then you can go over here to your dashboard and see requests for information as well. Uh, so you have number we have one request right here, and every time I click, it's going to. So those are those are the requests for information that you see on the da on the dashboard. They're here just the same way on the mobile app. Really cool. Now the uh, tasks, same thing. There's the request for information. You see, you're seeing the exact same thing that you're seeing on the dashboard there. And then, of course, my follow-ups, which are the most important, which are down here. You are seeing Roger Underwood, but you're seeing a number of others, too. These are not categorized like they are by status down on your follow-up page. These are just going to list them out order of importance, your priority first, and then your new, and then your very high people with your Zap scores. Okay, So those are the follow-ups, and it works a lot like the same way. So if I go to Roger Underwood, the first one right here, I can go in, take a look at him, and on the bottom you'll see that I can call, email, text, or uh, add a touch point note. If I decide to email him, it will give me that option to do it right from my phone. And uh, there is no follow-up plan set up for this person. If there were a follow-up plan, it would be there. Let's see if we can find one with a follow-up plan and uh, see if it populates for you. Uh, yeah, so the, so anyway, but you get the idea. So uh, so I can I can go in, I can call, I can text. If you text from this app, it actually records it in Zap, so you can see that you've uh, see that you've texted or contacted that person. So really, really good stuff there. Now, if I just need to find a specific contact, I can go to the bottom of the screen here and touch the contact. You see, I touched the dashboard in the beginning. If you look at the very bottom right there, I'm going to go to contact now, and I can have all of my contacts here and I can actually search by contact as well. I can search my past showings, requests, or listings in that same field. Pretty uh, pretty convenient there. If I touch on the, so that was just the search bar here, if I go to the uh, addition there I can add a new contact, add a new insight, a new showing request, uh, or a new personal task that I need to complete as well. So those are added. Finally, down on the bottom here, you see business. I can see all of my show, past showing requests, my requests for info, my listing appointments, all in one place here if I need to find something in the past or if I need to complete something. For instance, uh, this one right here with uh, Candace Maddox is scheduled. If I touch that, it will bring up the scheduled. And I let's say I want to change status here. We've already finished it. I can complete that. And, mo and best of all, when you complete your statuses, you can leave your property insights right there. You see in the middle there, I can leave property insights. Now, these get published on the web and get seen by thousands of people. Great way to, um, it's a great way to promote myself. I can just click on good condition, great views, or I can go in, or both, and type in uh, great location next to school, for instance and these get published. 
when somebody, anytime somebody looks at this property, there are no other agents promoted. You get promoted, and the person will see your name. So those are all really, uh, those are all really good. Uh, features here for the Zap app, and then I've got my account here, which allows me to go in and you know sign out, look at support, provide feedback, all of that good stuff is right here as well. So those that's just the high points of the Zap app. Again, it does pretty much the same things as the desktop does. Now, what I'd like to talk to you also about is the Coldwell Banker mobile app that is branded by agent. You can see the agent up there, Jane's app, whether I log in or not. It's her mobile app, and if I register and I have not logged in yet, or if I'm not registered to the Coldwell Banker site, if I am sent her mobile link and I download her mobile app, then anytime anything I search or if I request a visit or whatever, I will automatically be assigned to that agent. How do I do that? Well, if I go here and go to my website, there is a link in the site right here, the URL. If I provide that with people to people, then I will they will download my app. This is really, really important because that's typically where you lose leads. You know, they'll come in as a lead, but then they'll go to Zillow or somewhere else and download the app because people are searching with apps nowadays, and if you want to keep them, you need to have them download your app. Now, a really cool thing, if I am working, if I'm a contact here, and again, I'm talking about the client facing app, not Zap. Zap is agent facing. Agents use Zap. I'm talking about the client facing app to be able to search for property. So if I go here for this Roger Underwood guy, then I can go in just right by the more features at the top here. I go in and click more features. Um, it's taking a second to download. And sometimes this happens on displays and things like that. But if I, um, if I go in and go under more features there, then it will allow me to send the mobile link there. So uh, it's not responding right now, but you get the idea. If you just click more, it'll say send mobile app, and you can just send an email with mobile app, and you will uh, you will have you will have it sent out. So while we're waiting for that to uh, warm up, let's just go in and take a look at this mobile app and the things it can do. So you see here, it shows me when I first log in, I see the agent's information, I see my past searches if I have any, and I will go into the home screen and I'm just going to search in Oak Harbor, Washington. There it is there. So that brings up Oak Harbor, Washington. Really, really cool view here. Now I can filter this if I want to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear that because I want to just open up all of the other listings around there as well, uh, around the whole area. And, and that's one way you can do it. I can go in and I can look at a satellite view as well if I'd like to, kind of get a lay of the land. But I kind of like the standard view. Now, a really, really cool thing, I can also draw. Now, um, I've got the, I've got right there. So let's just draw a circle around here and around the coast. And so now that, that becomes a search there. And let's say I want to filter these searches even further. I go to filter and I just want to see anything that's three bath, two bed or more. And I want to see anything under, let's just say, 775. And uh, maybe I want to see have it be more than uh, 2,000 square feet. See if there's anything else I want to do. Um, for now, let's just apply these filters and see what we get. So that is letting me get really, really granular there. I can also show a list. Now this again, client facing, this is not replacing your MLS. This is for clients to use so that they want to use you as their agent because you're the one giving them all this great information. So here are the property uh, lists there. Now what you can also do if I want to go back to that, uh, if I want to go back to that search and, uh, or, or I want to filter it even further go to my map here. I want to filter it just one more step. What I might want to do is go in and just say, here's my key phrase, garage. I go in and use garage and then um, and then apply that filter. Now I will, now I, I, I break it down even further. If I want to save that search, I can, uh, but it, you know, if I haven't registered already, it will make me register if I have not registered. So those are just a few of the idea of the web apps, the client facing web application. And then of course the ever important zap as well uh, is available to you. Uh, if you have questions about these or any other, any other features, please reach out and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks guys. Have a great day.